Taoiseach, um, last Monday night, Minister Pascal O'Donoghue uh, signed a commencement order to the State Airports Act, essentially giving power to the trustees of the pension scheme of workers in Dublin Airport, Aer Lingus and SR Technics, um, to the trustees there, to slash very significantly uh, the pensions of the members of that scheme, uh, divided between retired, deferred uh, and active. It's the first time in the history of the state that any government has legislated to change the private pension scheme and to uh, effect such uh, draconian cuts uh, to people's pensions. 5,000 retired workers from Aer Lingus, from Dublin Airport, from SR Technics and other uh, companies essentially uh, will lose six weeks uh, of their pension, pay, of six weeks paid, the equivalent of six weeks paid per annum. In addition to the 2.5 per cent that they will lose as a result of the government's pension levy, and that will be in perpetuity. Uh, so, in some instances, that could be as high as 200 euros plus 250 a month in some cases. The most savage cuts of all have been reserved for the deferred uh, members of the scheme, those who were compulsorily told they had to sign up and pay their pension, uh, uh, pay contributions to their pensions. They are looking at 50 per cent plus cuts to their pensions. I don't know how anybody could justify that. So a woman who's 65 next year expecting €30,000 is now getting €15,000. Um, and the active members have been bullied into an inferior um, pension scheme um, in, in, ter in, in terms of, of, of the new order. And I would put it to you, Taoiseach, that the Taunashta had been indicating to interested parties and stakeholders that she was working with them to bring about a fairer a resolution to the scheme. And I'm wondering, did Minister Dunn, who consult with the Taunister, or did the Taunister know that he was about to sign the commencement orders um, on Monday night? Because, of course, amendments were coming to the Social Welfare Bill this week, which had been tabled. And my colleague Dara O'Brien, Senator Dara O'Brien in the Shannon, has been fighting this now for quite a long time. And he had indicated amendments to the Social Welfare Bill with others that could rectify this situation. And it seems to be a choreographed operation by the government because the following day the EGM has been called for December um, where um, the uh, shareholders will be asked to vote through these cuts to the pensions. Now, teacher, you have 25% shareholding uh, in Aer Lingus and I want to ask you, is, is it the government's position that we'll be using that vote to vote these cuts through? Secondly, could I put it to you that do you think this is fair on the pensioners concerned and the deferred pensioners, the retired? in particular, and I would put, to you, put it to you that it's not too late to intervene, Taoiseach, that you could revoke this commencement order and work with the parties involved and the stakeholders to Thank ensure you. that there would be a fairer outcome uh, to this situation than the extraordinary and very draconian cuts uh, that have been imposed Thank on you, pensions Deputy. that people up to quite recently felt they were entitled to. And I want to ask your position on that. What is the government going to do with the AGM? Thank you. Will you move now between now and January to revoke this situation and work towards a better solution? Please, sir. This is, uh, this is something that has dragged on for years and has been of, uh, uh, of obviously great concern to those who are involved. The deficit here at the moment is uh, 769 million. Um, the, there was an expert panel that was set up here that considered all of the combinations and, and uh, possibilities that were involved in this. The, um, the scheme, as I said, currently carries a 769 million deficit. The expert panel looked at it uh, and were able actually to bring forward a further 20 million. Uh, scheme membership is comprised of 5,000 active uh, scheme members, 5,000 deferred scheme members and 5,000 pensioners. And there's widespread agreement that the I, within the IAS that this uh, scheme is unsustainable. Uh, the employers are putting in monies uh, to cushion a move from a defined benefit uh, to a defined contribution scheme. The report uh, of the expert panel recommended that additional monies would be paid to the deferred workers and the employers have agreed to this. Uh, legally, the employer's role is a voluntary role. There is no legal requirement for employers to sustain the scheme. The only other option um, 
in the event of the current negotiations being unsuccessful um, is, uh, is for the Pensions Authority to wind the scheme up entirely. So legal action by the deferred members and by the uh, and by deferred members uh, could obviously undermine the, the current proposals, which are very finely balanced, I have to say, um, and such, such uh, an action could potentially derail the proposals. It was announced yesterday uh, that a ballot of members uh, resulted in a 70% vote in favour of the pension deal. And so this has gone on for years, uh, Deputy Martin, with no solution. Now, the expert uh, panel set up did make recommendations here, and they did recommend uh, further monies being made available to this, of which uh, 20 million came forward. Um, the scheme, as you know, is a multi-employer multi scheme, and its membership comprises employees from Aer Lingus, 69%, Dublin Upper Authority, 27%, and SR Techniques, 4%, and as I said, it's carrying a, a deficit of 769 million. Uh, the negotiations here have gone on for years, and they've failed to resolve the difficulties with the scheme. There have been intense efforts, let me tell you, in the last number of months to try to resolve the difficulties with the introduction of the legislation and the establishment of the expert panel to report on these things. Uh, the the um, the um, the focus of members of the scheme are unhappy with the with the uh, situation. Have sought a meeting. I've had some correspondence from my from them myself. Intend to respond to that. And at a meeting with the uh, deferred members group on the 2nd of October, and in recent representations from deferred scheme members, uh, there were a number of concerns outlined at that meeting. So uh, this is a situation which has been unresolvable now for years. An expert panel and legislation was set up. A recommendation for further money to be put into the scheme and a, a deficit of 769 million as the, the alternative here is to have the pensions authority wind the scheme up completely and there are the proportions of the membership that are involved here and uh, as i say it's, it's a very difficult uh, situation to have to deal with the only alternative the one that you've put forward that is not the only alternative uh, and the bottom line Taoiseach, i mean how would you like it Taoiseach, if someone arbitrarily decided to have your pension entitlements because no one represented it. To have them, to have them, to have them. The bottom line is this, T-shirt. The point I'm making, t is nobody represented the deferred pensioners in any of the negotiations or in any of the discussions. And they've taken the biggest hit. And work that out yourself, t and it's fairly obvious what happened. The pensioners have taken a hit as well, uh, six weeks' pay, but in addition to that, your own pension levy that you put on three to four years ago results in a 2.5% cut forever in their pension entitlements. That's the temporary pension, which you should never have brought in because it has undermined uh, significantly many pension schemes out there. And the problem as well, Taoiseach, is that in the Social Welfare Bill of two years ago, essentially this, the, there was a facilitation legislatively for single insolvencies, which basically allows profitable companies to run down um, their pension schemes. And in essence, a roadmap has been given to such companies uh, into the future to do just that. And I think by signing the commencement order and by the legislative intervention of the government, essentially what has happened is a Trojan horse has been created. And we can see more of this emerging uh, in the coming years in relation to other uh, companies and other pension um, schemes. So I will put it to you, Taoiseach, it just simply is not fair um, in terms of how this has been worked out by any objective yardstick or criterion. I don't think how anybody could suggest that a particular grouping, for example, losing 50% plus of their pension entitlements is fair in any uh, shape or form. And there were discussions going on. And you might answer the question, Taoiseach, as to whether the Taunishta was aware that Minister Donoghue was going to sign the commencement order um, on Monday evening or not, because there were discussions going on with some of the stakeholders or with some of the members, uh, representatives, um, with a view to uh, identifying potential fairer um, outcomes to this and resolutions um, of this. So are you simply saying, teacher, that you're not in a position to intervene and you're not in a position to do anything uh, to affect a fairer outcome uh, to this situation? Sure. See, it's like a lot of other things, uh, Deputy Martin, that were let drift uh, to make the situation worse than it ever was. Um, just over three years ago, the deficit here was 350 million. It's now 769. This has gone on, this has gone on, this has gone on for years. But the trustees... Please, 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 Deputy. 
As I pointed out to you, Deputy Martin, the situation has gone on for years. Just over three years ago, the deficit here was 350 million. It's now 769. That is, it's getting worse. Now, Sorry, would you please allow a reply? Thank you. The trustees, the trustees wrote to the Minister for Transport and they recommended that the course of action being pursued here following legislation in the expert panel is the best option. This was voted upon by the, uh, by the membership in Aer Lingus and 70% gave their verdict on it in, in favouring it. Uh, the Department of Finance said that this is a, this is a situation that can, that can rescue this situation. So as I say, it's 769 million of a deficit now. Uh, the Minister for Transport met with the Thornish on Monday before he signed the commencement order.